Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about how Wendy Williams' ex-husband is suing her show. Let's get right into it. Kevin Hunter, Wendy Williams' ex-husband, is suing the production company that bears her name. In court documents obtained by People, Hunter is suing Deb Meyer Mercury for wrongfully terminating him from his longtime role as executive producer on The Wendy Williams Show. The complaint claimed he was fired on the basis of his marital status, which is barred by the New York City human rights law. According to the lawsuit, Hunter, whose role on the syndicated series began in 2007, received a notice from Deb Mar Mercury founder Ira Bernstein informing him that his firing was effective immediately. Hunter claims his job status changed days after Williams filed for divorce in 2019. The former couple wed in 1997 and welcomed their son Kevin Jr. in 2000. After it was revealed that Williams fathered a child with his mistress named Sharina Hudson, Williams filed for divorce in April 2019. It took until 2020 for their divorce to be finalized. The filing states, The termination of plaintiff was based strictly upon plaintiff's marital status and his impending divorce to the show's host, ignoring all of the contributions that plaintiff made to make the show a success. The filing then added, As a result of defendants' aforesaid actions and the breach of their agreement with Hunter, the defendants have been unjustly enriched from plaintiff's executive producer contributions to the show, as well as enduring product integration engagements plaintiff has brought to the show and the show has retained. Later after that, Kevin and Sharina moved from New Jersey to Florida after his divorce was over. They are still together and have been photographed with their kids running errands around town. Hunter's lawsuit also highlights the upcoming changes coming to the talk show. Williams' ongoing health issues have prevented her from returning to host her own show, which has been replaced by a series of all-star guest hosts. Sherry Shepard, a frequent guest host on The Wendy Williams Show, was tapped for her own series, Sherry, which will take over Williams' show's time slot after it was announced that the show would be ending after this season. Citing published reports, Hunter's complaint states many of the elements he helped conceptualize and the product integrations he created for Williams' show will be incorporated into Shepard's new series. The document states, Even though the Wendy Williams show will be over, defendants will continue to be unjustly enriched by plaintiff's initial work, including his initial concepts created for the show and plaintiff's product integration agreements. Hunter also claims Williams' show never recovered after his firing and the production company underestimated his value to the program. Additionally, the filing declares Hunter was an integral part of the inner workings of the show and Debmar was unable to fill the absence of plaintiff's departure. Hunter claims that Debmar Mercury breached their foregoing agreements with him by firing him, failing to properly remove his executive producer credit and withholding commissions that are rightfully payable to him under the product integrations agreement. As a result, Hunter seeks compensatory, punitive damages, an award of costs, interests and attorney fees, other and further relief as this court deems just and proper. Per the court document, Hunter claims that he has suffered roughly $7 million to $10 million in economic loss as a result of his firing. Williams, like Hunter, has been embroiled in legal battles of her own. She recently filed a lawsuit against her bank, Wells Fargo, alleging that they denied her any access, whether online or otherwise, to her financial accounts, assets and statements, preventing her from obtaining several million dollars. Wells Fargo recently said in a statement, Wells Fargo's priority is the financial well-being of Miss Williams and the preservation of her privacy. As we have expressed to the court, Wells Fargo is open to working with Miss Williams' counsel to release funds directly to her creditors for bills, historically and regularly paid from her accounts. This is sad news for all of us because just a month ago, Wendy Williams was reported to have fallen back in with her ex-husband Kevin Hunter, who is once again acting like her manager. A source told Radar, Wendy has no one in her life but Kevin. She never had close friends and hasn't spoken with her staff in months. After her mom died, Wendy didn't even have a family. All she has is Kevin and the son they share together. The source then added, Kevin is back in her life again out of necessity. He might not have treated her right in the past, but when he was in her life, none of this crazy stuff happened. He would never have allowed her bank to freeze her assets and would have made sure Wendy went to work each day. A judge has yet to rule on Wendy's plea for a restraining order against Wells Fargo. Radar also confirmed that Williams has hired attorney LaShawn Thomas, who her ex-husband Kevin Hunter uses as his lead counsel on his various businesses. The insider added, Of course, Kevin had a hand in Wendy hiring LaShawn Thomas. Kevin is back and he and Wendy are getting close again. We want to hear your thoughts on this. What do you think of Kevin suing Wendy Williams' show? Let us know in the comment section down below. 
That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.